opportunity for Hillis to, to get back to parity here. Saw a couple of points ago, didn't we? Uh, where Hillis, sorry, Kennedy just pounced onto the ball, didn't she? She used her speed really proactively to, to play that cross court forehand winner. Yeah, that's the nice shot. So just a slight lead for Kennedy. Perfect length, isn't it? Yeah, made Naylor go all the way around there. Good movement from Hillis, but she won't get that one. The, the movement into the front line was good, but the, the touch. Yeah, I think that's where, as I said, I don't think either player is, play, player is playing their best yet. But that's where Hillis can improve, just the, the touch in the front when she gets those opportunities. No, that's, that's a great shot. We, we're also saying off my that, that area. So another good early lead for Kennedy in this second here in Hamburg. Oh, it's a great dig. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, that is the best shot that lovely. Silas has played in this final. That's a good hold from Kennedy. Clever from Hillis, appreciated by Kennedy. So he's got a tool of advantage. So, so valuable in a final like this. The players just two rankings separating them. Four and six in the world. It's a good straighten. Well, she's doing the right thing, six. Hillis, not, not to sit in the tin, but she's trying to take the ball Kennedy early and try and bluff. be able to respond to those kind of shots. Just short, wasn't it? She knew straight away that that ball was right into the. It's good volley from Hillis. Just cutting it off. It's in trouble now, though. It's that width again. She can just feel Hillis stepping forward.
still in this match though, Hillis. If she can control this third game somehow, stay stay in touch. Lovely. That was brilliant. Lovely. One of the best shots. Brilliant width and depth there from Hillis again. Looking a lot more confident now. Down. She's missed it. Yep. Eleven seven. Right on a racket. But you called it, Matt. It was. Kennedy leads. These two, two are too close to in one. standard, really, for it to be a three love, and it's looking likely that Hillis may secure the third game. Keep doing what she did in the third, which was really, you know, work Georgina to the back and look for those volleys to take those volleys in shape. Really hunt the ball. Right, it's good enough there from Hillis. Onto it nice and early. I'm sure that's frustrating. I've never played with the, <laughs> the tower boxes at the front, but yeah, that would have uh, that would have irritated me as well. I think. No, you would have just dropped down and done your shoelace. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely touch. Okay. Just kind of just comes in with a high racket face and then flattens the racket out a little bit, and it's very difficult Eight, to read. Five. And of course, the accuracy is there as well. Yeah. That's that boast. There it is, yeah. That's the signature yep. Gina Kennedy boast on the backhand side. What a time to hit it. But it was an absolutely crucial shot, crucial points. A match ball here for Gina Kennedy. Shot. What a shot! Talking about talk about brave there, uh, Nat. That was that was wonderful no. anticipation there yeah, from the Belgian. She can, she can. It's a brilliant finish there for Georgina Kennedy. Fantastic volley on the forehand side to finish this match. It, it grew and grew. Ladies and gentlemen, your German Open Women's Champion of 2024, Georgina Kennedy.